हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम तेजर वेलकमिंग ऑल ऑफ यू टू द टू डेज डेली करंट अफेयर्स अपडेट्स इन इंग्लिश आर फर्स्ट अपडेट इज वर्ल्ड रेडियोग्राफी डे इज ऑब्जर्व एन्युअली ऑन नवंबर एट टू कमोमोरेट द डिस्कवरी ऑफ एक्स रेडिएशन और एक्स रेज ऑन नवंबर एट एटीन नाइन्टी फाइव बाई जर्मन साइंटिस्ट विल हेल्प कॉनराड रॉन्टगेन हु वॉज अवॉर्डेड द नोबल प्राइज इन फिजिक्स फॉर दिस अचीवमेंट इन नाइनटीन The goal of observing such a day is to raise public awareness of radiographic imaging and therapy which plays an important role in patient diagnosis and treatment. This year's theme for World Radiography Day is radiographers at the forefront of patient safety. Next update is about books. BVR Mohan Reddy the founder and chairman of Hyderabad based Scient has published a book titled Engineered in India. From dreams to billion dollar scent Amitabh Kant G20 Sherpa and former CEO of the government of India's Niti Aayog launched the book at the India Habitat Center in New Delhi Penguin India published the book Mohan Reddy said this book gives experiential evidence of what it takes to ideate and scale a global enterprise my hope is to inspire the next generation of entrepreneurs to learn from my journey next update is again about books the publication date of prince henry's new memoir has finally been announced following the publisher's rejection of the first copy there are growing concerns that the book has been gussied up The book titled Spare was supposed to be released in October but as a mark of respect in the aftermath of Queen Elizabeth II's death the release date was pushed back to January 10 when the original submission was rejected by publisher Penguin Random House Harry was forced to make changes raising concerns at Buckingham Palace Next update is about an obituary Jamshed J Irani also known as India's steel man died in Jamshedpur he was 86 the steel man of india passes away it is with profound grief that tata steel informs of the demise of padma bhushan dr jamshed j irani tata steel said he joined the tata steel board of directors in 1981 and served as a non executive director for a decade beginning in 2001 dr irani served as director of several tata group companies including tata motors and tata tele services in addition to tata steel and tata sons In 1992 to 1993 he was also the national president of the Confederation of Indian Industry that is CII Our fifth update is about awards the prestigious Saturn Award 2022 in the best international film category went to SS Rajamouli's period epic Triple R the film was also nominated for best action or adventure film and Rajamouli was nominated for best film direction Triple R starring Ram Charan and N.T. Ramarao Jr is the fourth highest grossing Indian films of all the time trailing only Dangal Bahubali 2 and KGF 2 the film's producers DVV Entertainment tweeted that they were honored to win the prestigious award and thanked the jury for their support Our sixth update is about rank and report according to a new report released by the United Nations Environment Program that is UNEP India's per capita greenhouse gas emissions in 2020 were 2.4 t CO2e that is ton carbon dioxide equivalent far below the global average of 6.3 t CO2e the emissions gap report 2022 the closing window released ahead of the united nations climate change conference that is COP27 in egypt also stated that the international community is still falling far short of the paris goals with no credible pathway in place to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees celsius 
Our seventh update is about an obituary again. Nippon Goswami, a veteran Assami actor, died in a private hospital in Guwahati after a long illness. He was 80. Goswami, who was born in Tejpur, made his acting debut as a child actor in the Assami film Piolo Fukan. Goswami, a graduate of the Film and Television Institute of India in Pune, was classmates with Shubhash Ghai, Shatrughan Sinha and Naveen Nishchal, among others. He began his film career as the lead actor in the hit Assami film Sangram, and he followed it up with another hit, Dr. Bezbarua. Our eighth update is an international event. The World Health Organization, that is WHO, has released a report that includes the first ever list of fungal priority pathogens, a list of the 19 fungi that pose the greatest threat to the public health. According to imaging evidence, the incidence and geographic range of fungal diseases are both expanding globally as a result of global warming and increased international travel and trade. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the reported incidence of invasive fungal infections among hospitalized patients increased significantly. Our ninth update is about an economy. Dabur India, a leading FMCG company, has announced the acquisition of 51% stake in Bacha Masala Private Limited, which manufactures, markets and exports ground spices, blended spices and seasonings. The company said in a statement that this acquisition is consistent with Dabur's stated strategic intent to grow its foods business to rupees 500 crore in three years and expand into new adjacent categories. This also marks Dabur's entry into India's branded spices and seasoning market, which is worth over Rs. 25,000 crore. Our last and next update is about defence. The Indian Navy held the 29th Singapore-India Maritime Bilateral Exercise, that is Simbex, in Vishakhapatnam from October 26 to 30, 2022. Simbex 2022 was held in two phases. The harbour phase in Vishakhapatnam from October 26 to 27, 2022, followed by the sea phase in the Bay of Bengal from October 28 to 30, 2022. Simbex series of exercises began in 1994 and were initially known as Exercise Lion King. The exercise exemplifies the high level of cooperation between India and Singapore in the maritime domain. Dear friends, these are today's daily current affairs updates. For more such updates, do stay tuned to us. Thank you.